Hey everybody, it's Scott Steen with WinnersAndWiners.com coming to you from the Kiss De Degenerate Studio on the expansive first floor of the Winners and Winers Sports and Entertainment Complex to bring you today's Deep Three. If you would be so kind to give us the old thumbs up on this video, if you like what we're peddling, if you're buying what we're selling, um, please give us the thumbs up and if you haven't done so already, please give us uh, the subscribe, just click on the rectangle there, and then when that opens up, click on the bell. Make sure you get notified each and every time we put up brand new content. So, uh, of course, we want to hear from you, man. You guys are the ones that make this fun for me. Um, love reading the comments, love seeing your plays. So whatever you're on today, I know it's kind of a short day. Uh, we've got one baseball game, we've got some hockey, basketball, soccer, you know, whatever. There's some sports out there. So, uh... Whatever it is you're on, put those plays up there. Uh, let's call it five, shall we? Give me your give me your best five here for football season. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bring it down to five. Whatever it is, you can take make parlays, uh, single plays, whatever you want to do. Um, I, I do ask that if you if you take a parlay that's anything but the regular money line minus one ten, put the odds in there and tell me what you're getting that parlay at just to make my life easier. I I and uh, yeah, if you get enough right. Of course, we'll give you we'll give you the recognition for for getting them right, and if you get enough right, you much like Kiss the Degenerate will be our capper of the day. So, and with capper of the day comes great responsibility. You get to make the capper of the day play of the day, and let us know what is your best play coming up. So, uh, make sure you do that for me in the comment section. Appreciate it as always. And of course, don't forget to check out our sites. Uh, and it's multi-sport time, man. You got to get over to winnersandwiners.com, statsalt.com. Uh, they're doing deep dives into all the sports. So when you're uh, when you're flipping back and forth between the NHL and the baseball, checking out the NFL, maybe this week's college stuff, uh, no better site. All they're under one roof, very easy to navigate, and deep dives, like I said, into every game every single day. So check out winnersandwinners.com, statsalt.com. Check out pointsbet.com for all of you looking for the greatest place to bet on sports. If you happen to live in Iowa or uh, New Jersey, or hell, you're driving through there, man. Stop and get yourself a card. Get on, get on the app, and you can uh, you can actually bet online, which is pretty cool. They got the geo fencing. I was talking to the guys in Iowa. They said, yeah, it is so precise that if you take one foot, if you take one step out of Iowa, um, you are uh, you will no longer be able to bet. I wonder how that works on the river, where like the river divides. So like if you're swimming and you, can you make bets as you're floating across the Missouri, then you get to the other side. And I don't know. That's probably not or the Mississippi rather. Sorry geographically incompetent so anyway check out points bet do that and uh yeah that's it there you go so let's find out uh let's find out how we did here when we're in the money look at this we hit a prop huh huh who's a fancy prop hitting guy uh we did hit our uh we hit our main bet we did hit the san francisco team total over and i had it at 25 i know that that opened up and i don't know i was you know i do that all that math in my head as i'm as i'm doing this i'm capping that out and sometimes uh, I'll be a little, I'll be a little mathematically in error there. So I always correct it. I don't, I don't play funny numbers. You guys know me. Um, I would put, we'd have put the right numbers, but I think I got it at, uh, what I ended up in the 26 and a half, 27 and a half. I think I got it at 26 and a half. Yeah, I don't know, maybe 27 and a half. Either way, it went over. We had 31. So whatever you got it at, that was a winner. And, uh, we had, uh, uh Nick Chubb under 87 and a half yards that one came through no problem as Nick Chubb just had 87 <laughs> yards <laughs> we won our prop bet by half a fucking yard and oh my um, I thought we were screwed they ran a draw play there at third and a third and a thousand whatever it was at the end of the game and they ran a little pussy ass draw play and he got about 13 I'm like oh god we're screwed uh, but we ended up uh, keeping that under and uh, as far as our George Kittle bet uh, spoiler alert, Tommy Gordon's a dick. <laughs> um, that's all I'll say until we get to the shout outs. It's funny. Uh, he's a dick, but it's funny. I've got to tell you. Um, we had Kittle under 89 and a half yards, or excuse me, under 69 and a half yards, and he had 70 yards of receiving. So we go one and one on our props, but we end the losing streak as we had gone, uh, we had lost six in a row on our prop bets. And, um, yeah, anyway, I mean, I'm going to, I got to talk, so we're going to talk about the prop bets here in a minute. We get to the shout outs. Um, and then on the premium side, we had, we had, uh, man, we had the Cleveland San Francisco over, which I still thought was the best play in this game. And holy shit, did they leave some points on the board? Uh, Cleveland throws an interception as the guy's laying on the goal line. 
uh, just bounces off his hands inexplicably. Uh, Robbie Gold misses three field goals. Um, what else? Oh, they had the guy wide open from at the, about the ten yard line on the slant, and uh, and Hagropola with the ball right on the money and blurp. And uh, so there's what is that? Uh, Eleven twenty. Yeah. So there's twenty points. It ends up at it ends up on fifty and uh, or it ends up it ends up on th- what, what, what it was thirty one three. So it ends up on uh, thirty four. So uh, yeah, there's twenty there's twenty points we left on the board. So that. Eh, that stung. I still think, you know, we play that we play that game a hundred times. I think we've got the right side on that all day. But you know what? When the money came when it came down to it, it didn't get it didn't cash. So that was a loser. And then we had oh, we played a parlay. We played a parlay, and I had my luck that I usually have with parlays. Uh one of the very few premium parlays that we've ever played. I played the New York Yankees over two unbelievable trends that the Yankees had won sixteen in a row um, against the twins in the postseason and the over it hit. Uh, twelve of sixteen. Their last, uh, their twelve, of their last sixteen. It hit it was seven and one this year, and of course, all the games in uh, postseason as well had gone over. And yeah, we put an end to that shit. So uh, zero and two, we go on the premium side, but on we go with today's action, and let's see what we've got cooked up here for today. Hey, there's one game. How about that? Um, here's here's how this is gonna go. We're betting a shit ton on Justin Verlander with all these three picks, all right? If Justin Verlander shits the bed, we're going 0-3 today, guys. That's all I'm going to tell you. The first one, all right. We're taking the Rays team total under 2.5 for the whole game. Uh, Verlander, he's been uh, unbelievable. The uh, he's, yeah, he's, he's been fantastic. He's got a 2-0 ERA since... The All Star break. He's got a he's got a uh, strikeout to walk ratio of nine point eight to one. That's just off the fucking chain for uh, for JV for Mister Kate Upton there. Um, he was dominating in Game One of this series. He came out and uh, uh, where's he go Game Two anyway? Uh, no, he went Game One. Yeah, because there it goes Verlander Cole anyway. Uh, gave up a a single in seven innings. That's it. A base hit. He gave up three walks. Uh, no reason to think he won't get it done again here, except. Except for the first time ever in his playoff career, he's on short rest. Okay, um, so uh, I don't think it'll make a difference. I think Je- I think Justin Verlander's a tough guy. I think he thrives on big money situations. He's a, a guy that's a workhorse. He throws. Uh, we talked about. I was talking about on the premium side. He throws. He throws harder as the game goes on. Uh, we you know I've watched him many years when he was in the in the AL Central there with the Tigers and uh, many. Uh, games where Verlander would pitch into the seventh, eighth, or even ninth, and just be throwing absolute gas in the ninth inning. So uh, I was at a, I was at a game he hit a hundred in the ninth inning, struck a, struck a guy out on a hundred mile an hour fastball in the ninth inning. So he can bring the shit. Now I know that's you know that was probably six seven years ago. Uh, so now he's throwing gas at 97, 98 in the late innings. Uh, heartbreaker. So yeah, I, I like Verlander here. All right, so uh, we're gonna play. Uh, raise team total under two and a half. That's going to be our main play. Uh, then our two prop bets, we're going to play, uh, stop me if you, if you feel a theme here, we're going to play the, uh, raise first three team total under a half. In other words, I think Verlander shuts them out, uh, for the first three innings. And we're going to play the raise first five team total under one and a half. Like I said, guys, it's, we're, we're shoving we're shoving, we're shipping it. We're shipping them all with Verlander, all right? Uh, I think he gets it done here today. We're going to make three plays on Justin Verlander. So uh, get yourself down on Justin Verlander. And at the end of this game, you guys can join me. We'll pick up our winning Justin Verlanders. And we will head back to the window. All right. So, yeah, I know I know it's boring, guys. But, you know, you know the drill. I don't. I don't do hockey. It's not, it's not my deal. I'm not going to just throw hockey picks out there and make believe I know what the fuck I'm talking about. If I do, it'll be later in the season. We'll be having a, having some fun. And, of course, I will tell you before I do that pick that I suck at hockey, all right? So we actually did, I don't know, we did two or three hockey picks last year. I think we did. I think we hit the first one. We're like junkies. We got that first one, man. And then I think we went. We lost like two or three in a row. So, yeah, my ho- my hockey prowess, I was pretty excited. And then it was it was over. So I'm not doing I'm not doing any hockey at least for a while. And as far as the NBA, I'm not doing NBA preseason. I'm 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 pretty much my time is spent football. I'm I'm watching I'm watching game film. I'm reading everything I can read. Obviously, I'm reading stats. I'm I'm reading local uh, newspapers. 
Uh, I'm trying to read stories on, you know, it's, it's, it's football. That's what I'm, I'm, it's wall to wall football. That's what I'm all about. And I think that's why you guys watch. I think that's why the mainly way the majority of people are watching is for football. And I know that's the majority of the reason that my have premium players are here for football. So, uh, when NBA gets up and rolling, we'll transition. We'll do a few NBA picks, uh, especially, you know, during the weeknights, but honestly, I'm waiting for Mac. I'm waiting for my Mac attack. And uh, if you guys, I don't know how many are with me from last year when we, uh, when we had the Mac start. And we were all excited about it. And then we ended up, uh, we had a bad Mac season. So uh, I usually do quite well at the Mac. I'm ready for it to start. I'm ready for my rebound year. So bring me some Mac. All right. All right. Lottie. All right. <laughs> More Mac, less yak. All right. Let's go on to, uh, uh, to the shout outs and all that whatnot. And we'll uh, put up the old premium record here. Like I said, we took it on the chin yesterday. Lost our... Uh, Lost our parlay and uh, and lost uh, lost our straight pick, so we're now six and eight for October. Uh, takes our football record to thirty eight twenty six and one. That is NCAA and NFL combined. That is still fifty eight point five on the season. So still making money. So if you guys are uh, interested in getting more uh, picks, check out the premium service. Follow that link right there. All right. Now as far as the shout outs go, you guys did uh, you guys had a pretty good day, and we are going to. Uh, if you're new to the shoutouts, what we do is we read your record. If you got if you got more than more right than you lost, we'll tell you how much you won. And if you had an unprofitable day, um, instead of saying uh, you suck, we will uh, today we will be uh, inserting you in uh, the lyrics of a rock and roll a classic rock and roll song. All right, so we'll see how that goes. We're going to try some fun stuff here. So we'll start off with uh, uh, Steve Godin. Uh Steve had a uh, he had a, a 50 50 day, but he made ten bucks. He made. Uh, because he had uh, George Kittle to catch a touchdown pass at plus 110. And uh, so he, uh, he also had Jarvis Landry. He could have had any Cleveland Brown to catch a touchdown pass, and that would have been a loser. So he goes 101 plus 10. Uh, Steve Halezell, I'm guessing Halezell could be Holzell. Uh, he said uh, Frisco's going to cover the three and a half. Indeed, they did. Steve, he went 1 and 0 plus 100. Uh, Born a Bear said he's new to betting on American sports, and he appreciates the breakdown. Man, I. Uh, one of, one of my, the fun things that I do is uh, you get to look down, you get to look at the demographics on uh, on YouTube and see where everybody's watching you from. And it's always freaky to see uh, uh, people like in, in weird places that uh, I've, I've never been. Uh, you know, I get people like watching in Azerbaijan, which is, <laughs> it, it just, it freaks me out. So, uh, Born a Bear, good to have you aboard, man. Hope you're having some fun, hoping you're learning some stuff. Uh, give me a comment. Tell me where you're at. Tell me what country you're at, man. And uh, yeah, that's cool. Good to have you. Uh, Kyle Z said, uh, "Yeah, he was uh, talking about his play of the day. Basically, hitting the first half. Yeah, it did, dude. That was a that was a fantastic play. If you got, hope you got down on the. Uh, by the way, that kid. Uh, and I think, and I think he's a kid. I think he's. I think he's said that he's young. That's why I call him a kid. And by the way, I'm old, so everybody's a kid to me. But uh, he can cap uh, sports fans. He really can. If you're not, if you're not checking out Kyle Z, he flies under the radar. He doesn't. He doesn't post a million times like uh, you know, like like a lot of guys. Um, and but he <laughs> he's a good capper. So." Uh, if you were looking for somebody's plays to follow, um, check out Kyle. And of course, um, then uh, um, he went out and had a uh, not a uh, not not a great day. But uh, Kyle, he uh, made up his mind to make a new start. He's going to California with an Aiken in his heart. All right, see how this works. Uh, Randy Lockhart, uh, Randy. I don't believe we've heard from Randy before. I'm not sure. It's uh, if it, if it has, it's good to have you back, Randy. If not, welcome aboard. He went three and one plus two twenty two on the day. Nicely done. As he had a little uh, combo play with the head. He uh, made money on the raise as he had the raise on the uh, on on the run line and on the money line. So nicely done there, Randy. Good job. Of course, he rode the Niners with me as well. Oh, by the way, I went two and one on my posted NFL picks. We had the uh, on the standalone video. We had the Niners uh, minus the points, and then of course we had the team total over in this one. Of course, lost the premium one. Uh, between you and me, that's not really how I'd like to do it, <laughs> but um, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, two and one would go on the NFL side. So uh, Legion of Picks, uh, Legion of Picks. He had a couple of hockeys, uh, and had a hockey and some uh, and, and some uh, and some on the football, and he got juiced. Uh, Super Cisco. Um, he uh, he uh, did not uh, have a proper day. He said, uh, but uh, Cisco is a. Uh, off the streets, gonna go where the bright lights and the big city meet with a red gar with a red guitar, on fire, desire. Uh, J E, <laughs> J E, getting to be one of my favorites here, by the way. J, he says I am in fuego. My record posting here is now one in eleven. 
But it hit the last game. He hit the Colts. That's right. So, yeah, he started 0-10. Never a doubt, brother. Um, so, to ride that momentum, I'm going to go with Baker Mayfield and the Browns to win outright. Take the money line on the Browns tonight. Between Baker, Odell Beckham, and Nick Chubb, they don't need no stinking four and a half points. God damn, Jay. Uh, uh, as Brady says, Jimmy Garoppolo who? <laughs> I love this guy. Or, or gal, whoever it is. I don't even care. I, uh, I, I'm a big fan, Jay. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo didn't have a great night. He was fine. Uh, they just, uh, holy shit, they got Freeman. You know, it, it had been it had been monstered and uh, and uh, yeah, you know the other guy, the yeah, old brain. Anyway, um, but not, so so Freeman came in and ran, and they both went for uh, they both went for uh, uh, I think that, did they ended up both going for a hundred. I know the one cat. I can't think of his name. Jesus Christ, broke off the 85, 85, uh, 85 yard run. I think it was Kyle Rudolph. <laughs> I can't believe I can't think of his name. It'll come to me. Um, so, um, Jay, uh, Jay opened doors for little old ladies. He helped the blind to see. Um, <laughs> uh, I love Alice Cooper. Uh, Tommy Gordon. <laughs> Tommy Gordon, motherfucker. <laughs> Tommy Gordon, he hit the Browns in the money line. Um, so that didn't go well. But Tommy, he said, uh, I'll also fade your pick and go cut Kittle over 69 and a half yards, and I hope it goes 7-0. Ha ha. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I would say that was a dick move if it wasn't so funny. Tommy, hats off, my friend. That is just an excellent call. I'm so happy that you hit that bet. That makes my heart soar with happiness. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Tommy, he got juiced. <laughs> uh, C-Dub had some hockey, uh, had some uh, soccer going on over there. And he also just, was, he, he just wanted to say, I like the Chubb under as the Niners have held the first three backs. Yep, 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 yep. He said the Kittle prop, not so much. Uh, and then he had some stats on that one. And uh, yeah, so uh, C-Dub ended up being uh, brilliant by half a yard on each side. Nice job, brother. Uh, and he's, uh, the closeout Euro 2020 is back in action on Thursday and I have some picks locked and loaded. So get excited for that, uh, as the Euro 2020. I don't know what that is. Probably, it sounds like a big tournament in, uh, in Asia. So that'll be cool. <laughs> um, and then, uh, so C-Dub, uh, not the best day, but, uh, C-Dub cause he's a man. He's got his pride. Don't need no woman to hurt him inside. Uh, Daniel Ruin. Uh, Daniel threw out some uh, NBA stuff, man. There's somebody that gets the NBA preseason. I ought to have him on. He went 3-1 and one plus 190. Now, here's the comment that I wanted to get to, all right? David David Spichowski. Uh David said you're laughing about your horrible prop bets. Uh, well, we're following you and losing big money. I don't find that funny. Okay, first of all, um, David, I appreciate the comments. I think you guys have been with me a while. You know me. You know I take this very seriously. You know I take it very personally about the picks that I put out there. Having said that, when I get in a slump, and I'm and, and David, I'm betting money on every one of these prop bets too. But when I get in a slump like that, to me, it's you can't help but laugh at the absurdity of it. It's certainly not in any way to disrespect people that have lost money on those props. And I told you before the last show, start fading me. I wasn't kidding. If if it's like if you're at a dice table and the guys and they're throwing nothing but seven outs, either leave the table or get on the don't. You know, if you got a guy that's cold, he's giving you winners. You just got to go over the other side. So, please, uh, my apologies to anybody that has ever taken uh, that is taken that, that I believe that it's uh, I take it lightly about what, what I'm doing here. I know I have a lot of people that watch. I know I have a lot of people that make these plays. I take it very seriously. I spend a lot of time doing them. So uh, if I do it with humor, if I talk about losses in a humorous way, first of all, know that I've lost, uh, you know what? I've lost a fair amount of money on whatever pick that is. So so they vary in size, but um, it's never been a good thing for me when I've lost. So please, um, sometimes you have to laugh, man. It's, you don't, you know, what are you going to do? Am I going to steam about it? Am I going to get pissed off? No, I'm going to, I'm going to let it roll off my back. And I'm going to move on to the next day. And I'm going to do that whether I win or lose. So 
Um, if anybody's taking that away, my apologies, okay? And uh, David, I appreciate the comments. I really do, man. As long as people are cool about it when they say it, um, you know, I got no beefs. And then David also talked about the uh, the site there where he had the he had twenty seven and not twenty five. And yeah, that's and yeah, I talked I talked about it with because I go through and do the formula. It's really easy, you know. If you know, if you know the total and you know the, the line, you subtract and you do both sides. And you know, sometimes either I've, I've miscalculated it or I think I just I just brain farted and say twenty five like I did last night. And usually I'll tell you that I'm guessing. And it didn't say that last night, so. My apologies. A lot of times I'll look it up on point bet, points bet. I was in a hurry last night and uh, did the math on it. So, yeah, not, again, not trying to be cheesy there. You guys know me. Um, all right. So, um, and then Bush Walda uh, said, uh, if you got the magical two minus two and a half on the Ravens, then I guess you covered. Uh, the line was almost three or three and a half. Uh, so, push or a loss. Um, I don't know if he was talking about me or anybody. I mean, I was pretty clear that I took Pittsburgh, I think, all the way through on that one. So, we had Pittsburgh plus three and a half. And uh, that's what we got, and we ended up getting the win on that one. So, if I said something confusing, I apologize. It wouldn't be the first time. I'd like to tell you it would absolutely be the last. It won't. So, uh, if that was me, um, that was uh, my apologies. Um, so, anyway. All right. So, uh, Derek Saunders. Uh, Derek. Um, oh, okay. Uh, Derek uh, did not have a great day. Uh, but, uh, Derek getting robbed, getting stoned, getting beat up, broken boned. Getting had, getting took. I'll tell you, folks, it's harder than it looks. Um, and we're going to do all different kinds of genres, by the way. We're not going to do just classic rock, but that's what I started with. Uh, it's fix. It's fix. Uh, one thing leads to another, apparently. A little fix jokes for you. Thank you. Uh, he had a fine day, by the way. Uh, he uh, went 3-0. Uh, and o, I'm assuming, again, he. Uh, f it's fix. Went 3-0 and o on the straight bix, as they had. Uh, Tampa on the run line, the Nationals, and the Yankees on the money line. And they also had, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I think I've shorted him one, actually. I have. Um, they went 4-0 and on their uh, straight picks, as they also had the 49ers minus 4. And then they had a parlay with the Nationals, 49ers, and the Yankees on the money line. And that paid, uh, uh, I believe, at plus 490, if I... Um, the parlay calculator was correct, and uh, that makes uh, its fix 4-0 plus 890. Not a bad day at all. Very well done, my friend. Uh, G&G said, uh, he said, I'm, I'm all buffed up and ready for this Monday. I don't know about buffed up, but yeah, I'm always ready. <clears throat> in my opinion, and to all that read, oh, this is great. Okay, so the question, you guys, answer this in the comment section if you hear this, because I'm curious to your opinion. Uh, who is the best athlete of all time, man or woman? Uh, and it can be, even be an animal. Um, well, you know, you could certainly uh, make an argument for Secretariat, although I don't think Secretariat was a very good at, uh, at other sports. <laughs> kind of one-dimensional. Yeah, he said for his money, it's Bo Jackson. And Gary, I have to tell you, it, it, for my money, it is too, dude. I was, uh, I, I, I got, was lucky enough. I, you know, I never got to see, obviously, I never got to see Jim Thorpe or Jesse Owens, um, uh, Jim Brown, you know, because he was he was a stud at uh, lacrosse as well, and so I never got to see any of those guys. But um, as far as athlete goes, I'm assuming you mean like you know I kind of take it to mean more than one sport. They're versatile, and I, I never saw anything like Bo Jackson in my life. Um, you know, I got to see I, I was there the first when he had his first at bat, and it's still on YouTube if you guys ever get a chance. Uh, he had a ground ball to second base at the Royal Stadium, and they had a synthetic turf man, and that ball was and that, that turf was fast on the infield, and it hit it, and it was deep, hit a ground ball to deep second base. And uh, he fielded it cleanly, came up, threw him, threw it to first base. Uh, Bo had beat it by about four feet. And I looked at my friend and went, holy shit, what did we just see? So when he was playing, and this is without question is true, uh, he was the fastest player in baseball. He was uh, had the best arm in baseball, an unbelievable arm, if you've ever seen the throw that he made uh, from left field to get Harold Reynolds. Uh, also fine YouTube highlight. And uh, he was the... Uh, uh, hit the ball the hardest of anybody in baseball at the time. Uh, absolutely. Uh, we saw him break his, break his bat hit, went about 420 one night. And it was, you know, before everything was juiced. Uh, phenomenal. Yes, absolutely. The, 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 the best athlete of my life that I've ever seen. No, no question about it, Gary. I, I agree with you on Bo Jackson there. Um, Dion was fine. Um, Dion was not the baseball player that Bo was. Um, he, just, he just wasn't. Um, Bo, and Bo was raw, man. It was it was all natural talent. He was still right, still struck out a lot, but you know he's like eh, two fifty, and just just oh god, what a, what a, what a what a tragedy that he got to.
dragged down in that uh, in that Cincinnati playoff game. Anyway, so great question, Gary, and I'm curious to see other people's answers too because you know I know there's a lot of other ones out there. Uh, Nick Rampero had a uh, had a damn fine day. Uh, Nick had a uh, a three team parlay and uh, it paid also paid four ninety. Uh, he went plus four ninety. Just played one pick. Nice job, Nick. Uh, Slick G Man. Um, Slick G Man just made one play today. And uh, you, you thought it would have been a good play. It was a, the Astros raised under, but it didn't work out. It was the Rays piled on, of all things. Um, he said, uh, he said uh, but uh, Slick Gman said, I ain't seen a girl since the night before last. Want to get drunk, man? I want to get gas. Um, <laughs> Kiss the Degenerate says, uh, do you do, Scott, Scott, you almost do this. You do this almost, you do this almost every day, yeah. And uh, you're always in goofy spirits. Uh, how the hell do you do that? And is it because you handicap full time? Uh, and he said he's on San Francisco, sweating the Tampa Bay Rails. That was a yeah, two good plays there. Um, you know what? There's a lot of reasons, man. But yeah, I, I number one, I have fun what I'm doing. I'm I'm having a blast. I'm, uh, you know, I, yeah, I handicap I handicap for a living, man. That's what I do, and it's you know, no matter uh, no matter what I make from uh, my premium picks or what I make from uh, winners and winners, the main source of my income is still betting on games. And, you know, after, after 20 years, I've got my accounts where I want them. I've got a regular source of income. We're having a great time. My kids are grown. They're out of the house. They're doing great. My wife and I have our own little place, man. We're free. Um, you know, I'm having a blast. It's, 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 it's hard not to get up for it. But, you know, and I'll tell you the other part of the, the other secret, Kiss, is, um, you know, I spent a lot of years um, traveling the country doing stand-up. And you get in the habit of w- whenever you're in front of people, you're able to get up and you're able to project um, not necessarily how you're feeling, but you're projecting uh, how, how they want to see you. You know, you, you, you bring that energy and you bring the excitement. So, yeah, there's sure there's nights. There's, you know, especially when we're mired in a losing streak or, you know, shit like that. Yeah, it's hard to get up and um, be high energy and, and, have, and have fun. But it's what you guys expect. You know, you don't you, you click on YouTube and watch some guy, fuck that, you know. We're hot and cold. We, we have peaks, we have valleys, we run good, we run bad. That's the shit that happens. But you're here every day to fucking take the beating and to take the bows when it goes right. So, you know what? I'm having a blast. At the end of the day, nobody got killed. That was always our slogan at the casino, man. Uh, no matter how bad a day, we'd walk out and go, well, you know what? At the end of the day, nobody got killed. And that's why I feel here. We're having fun. Yeah, sometimes we take a beating. We're losing money. I feel horrible about it. But I got a great life. So thanks for the question, man. I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it comes through that we're having uh, having fun here. Uh, Kent P. said, can't believe you're going back to the props. <laughs> So I guess the odds to win should be in your favor since you lost a few. That's right, buddy. You know what they say. You know what every D-Gen gambler says, fucker. I'm due. I'm due. And by half a yard, we got to pay out. And it's almost a shame. I mean, I'm glad we hit it. But I was going to do a couple props today. And we were just going to flip a coin. So um, we did. So anyway, so we, yeah, we went. Uh, we ended our losing streak at, two, at six. I think we were two and nine going in. So now we're three and ten. In our prop record, <laughs> um, and Ken P actually did okay. He went two and one plus ninety on the day. So anyway, sorry for rambling, guys. Here's all the positive cappers for the day: Steve Godon plus ten, Kent P plus ninety, uh, Steve Hosel uh, plus one hundred, Daniel Ruan uh, Ruan uh, plus one ninety, Randy Lockhart plus two twenty two, Nick Rampero plus four ninety, and it's fixed with perfect sheet. Everybody four and zero straight, one and zero parlay plus eight ninety. It's fixed, my friend. You are our capper of the day. Congratulations. And if you got to play for a Wednesday, put it up in the comment section tomorrow, man. We'll get everybody on it as your, uh, if you want to do that, if, uh, put your uh, cap, put your best play for Wednesday's action. All right. All right, guys. So, uh, good luck and everything today. Let's go out there and make some money. No matter what happens, you know what? We'll meet back here tomorrow. We'll bitch about our bad beats. We'll brag about those fat stacks. And then we're DJs. It's hump day, man. We're fired up. We'll do it all again. You guys take care. See you then.